From February break to flooding to a fire, students and staff at Tollgate High School have been through it. We've had a tough couple of weeks at Tollgate. They returned to class this past Monday after the district went back to distance learning due to extensive flooding on the third floor of the building after a heating coil burst. The amount of um, area alone that was damaged it is equal to half of one of our elementary schools. It's 20, over 20,000 square feet. At a recent school committee meeting, school leaders confirmed 15 classrooms, a hallway, and office space were damaged. The extremely hot water damaged the floor uh, tiles as well as the ceiling. When we went to replace the floor, t- floor tiles, asbestos was found, so abatement projects had to take place. Three of those classrooms are a total loss, and many items inside had to be thrown out. Teaching and learning still remained a priority. Then, two days later, a transformer failed, sparking an electrical fire, filling the library and some classrooms with smoke. Those of you who have ever witnessed an electrical fire, it's an acrid Terrible, terrible smell. The library is currently closed. As for what will happen to all of those books inside. This contents remaining inside, waiting for the same decision from our insurance provider if it will be cleaned or disposed of. It won't be long until students are in a brand new school. Construction will begin this November on a new high school next to the current one on Centerville Road. Interviews for a construction manager will happen at the beginning of April. In Warwick, Liz Bateson, NBC 10 News.